Good morning everyone. It's 10.33 in the morning on the 30th. Yeah, the 30th of July 2022. And it's way warmer outside than it currently is inside my home. So I'm sitting out here having coffee. Um, Grant rung me at 8 to wake me up. And he was like, I didn't know if you wanted to be woken up. And I was like, yeah, I didn't say anything because I figured I'd find out if he rung or not. Which he did. And then I promptly went back to sleep. Um, and I had a doctor's appointment on the phone for 12. But she rung at 10 and she's like, are you coming in? And I'm like, no, she's like 50 minutes away. Um, she's like, yeah, I didn't think so. So I just needed a paperwork done. And she's like, I'll just do it and email it to you. And I was like, yep, cool. She's like, sorry, I won't give up, go back to sleep. And I'm like, as much as I would like to, I don't think that's the answer. Um, I went to turn the heat on in my house because it says it's literally 10 degrees. Oh fuck, I hope I wasn't holding the phone the wrong way so you can hear me properly. Um, but then I realised it's hot out here so not to do that. Though I did turn my electric blanket on, ironically enough, when I made the bed when I got out because it was cold in there. And since I don't want to heat my whole house up, I'm um, probably going to take uni stuff to my room. But I'll see how I go. Um, oh, I've been reading the news, right? And it's just another one of those fucking things that, like yesterday, just keeps proving to me all the things that I feel are so broken in the world. And um, it's shit like that that makes me think, oh my god, I'm so over university. I'm so over fucking feeling the way I do when it comes to university. Um, which I do find really ironic given that my first storytelling job was about university stress. I'm like the fate's poster of it, I feel, and just doesn't hit it. Um, but I didn't really get through much lump yesterday, or this week, let's face it. Um, I am reminding myself it will get done, it always gets done. But I would be, yeah, there's definitely a part of me that's thinking there's a very good chance once I get to the end of this degree that one, I might just go, fuck it, I'm not rolling straight away for anything. And then two, I mean, I'm the biggest, I, I tell everyone, you've got to follow your passion, your passion. People individually annoy me, okay? Let's be frank. So... I don't want to work with individual people in mental health. I've actually got no desire to do that for a career. I deal with mental health enough. Just me, myself and I, and the voices in my head, yeah? Um, I mean, I haven't even finished the fucking thing for getting a client. Like, now that I'm aware I have ADHD, I guess it's really obvious. Doesn't mean I know how to fix it yet, because seriously, hours go by and I don't really know where the hell they've gone, eh? But, um, I mean, I made that video yesterday. Fairly certain there are stories I didn't finish. Like what I believe in happens when we die. And suicide and things like that. Because I believe that we are literally immortal souls that uh, energy we come down to the planet over and over and over again to learn all different life lessons until we get to the end life lesson and then hopefully we go back to the universe as a higher vibration of light. I fully believe I'm here on my life, life, last life. There's obviously reasons I believe that. Um, but suicide to me is just a one-way ticket back to earth and even though that's my ego's out all the time. I don't want to come back here. Even though I know I've been here a lot. Not trying to be flippant about a very serious topic, obviously. But I've been awake for 30 minutes. And I just remember mentioning it yesterday. And then while I was trying to cook. Um, thinking I didn't finish that sentence. There's probably a lot I didn't finish, truthfully. Um, 
if you've been following me along for the 213 days that it is today, you'd know that. And I'm okay with that. Because when I stop the bullshit in my head that's constantly telling me I'm not doing enough, I'm not smart enough, I'm fucking delusional or have, what is it, we're, we're learning about psychopathy fucking week three, yeah? And, and you know, personality disorders. Oh, which personality disorders lead to serial killers? People with BPD are up there, funnily enough. And it's interesting because I remember the, the teacher saying on the video I, I watched yesterday, or I partly watched yesterday, it's hard to imagine what could go through someone's mind to get them to that point. I've been saying all along, I don't need to imagine that. The darkness within me knows exactly what that feels like, which is why I need to share it. Because I can give insight into fucking things that I don't know that most people could comprehend. Doesn't mean I enjoy it, just means that I'm here to share it because there is literally nothing anyone could do to me that could be fucking worse than what I hear in my head on a day when my suicide ideation is through the roof. Um, and I do enjoy what I'm studying for sure, but again, like I said, I think I'm past it. That could be just because I feel like I'm behind again and I'm just like, blah, blah, blah. Oh my God. I used to be so good at studying and time management and this and that and everything else. Turns out I needed to have a full-time job or be full-time in school or have structure, structure, structure. Don't like being left to my own devices. Well, no, I really I don't like being left to my own devices. I'm a big giant child and I don't get half of what I want done. There are fucking sink full of dishes in there and I was just like, look. One of the things I do not like doing is going to be with dishes in my sink. Yesterday, I did. The dog threw my coffee already. Ugh. The dog threw everywhere in my house. Who am I kidding? I haven't heard back from my plumber. So I'm going to have to call him because I'm literally at the point now where it's like... <laughs> flushing the toilet's making me nervous. How weird is that, right? It's a sentence you don't think you're gonna say. Um, but when it comes to uni, it's this weird confliction because I, I've been saying it since I started making these videos. I love absolutely everything philosophy because that's what I'm like. I think about the big stuff. You know, I just read some articles about how fucking the top TikTok earners are earning like what was it $150,000 a post like how does that make any sense somebody please explain it to me there are still parts of our world that are in full blown poverty they don't have clean drinking water they don't have shelter or food and yet someone out there is making a 30 second video and getting $150,000 for it like Oh, I just can't comprehend it. And then obviously the voice in my head is like, well, you make videos, wouldn't you like to be paid for it? And I'd be like, yeah, of course, sure. If I earned that kind of money, there's no way I would keep that kind of money though. So I'm a big believer in paying it forward. Um, all I need is a home that I feel secure in with plumbing that works, which would be nice. And a car that doesn't feel like it's gonna break down every time I drive it. And I'm good, yeah. Like, it's absolutely unnecessary for people to be earning that kind of money and just blowing it when there are people in this world that need help. Those are the people I care about. The people who who are... Mm, division on the planet Earth is screwing us all over, let's face it. And I read another article about this woman who's getting married. She's got one of the same health conditions that I do and her fiancé wants this big hullabaloo fucking wedding and she isn't able to work due to her conditions i relate but she's um sacrificing her medication her appointments all of her treatment she's sacrificing everything to put what money she can aside so that he gets this fucking day like if the only reason you want to get married is because you get a big 
fucking party. You're definitely getting married for the wrong fucking reasons. Personally, I think marriage makes no sense whatsoever. Like, how is a big fancy date that costs hundreds of thousands of dollars or even close to that? Any sense, any sense, people use our brains, right? But I guess this is why I think the way that I do. I'm going to keep talking about it for sure. Um, because the only thing I know that I'm going to keep doing is these videos. It's the one thing in my life that I can guarantee I won't stop because this is my outlet, this is my purpose, this is what I'm here to do. I want my degrees, I want to learn, I want to understand. I sure as shit don't want to have fucking days where I feel like I'm so worthless that if I don't get the grades I need to get into honours then I shouldn't be here. And that is how it feels when you have voices in your head like I do. And again, I'm one of billions, which is why I share. But my coffee's getting cold and my butt is getting sore because I'm sitting on a concrete step. So I'm going to love these and leave these now and probably check in later.